I, uh, in response to this award, I was called uh, to uh, give a, some of my comments and I prepared a 20 page speech. <laughs> but then, before I get filtered with tomatoes, I thought I should reduce it to 10 page speech. So, here, uh, oh, I still don't seem to have it in my pocket. I just left it at home. <laughs> so, I perhaps would have to cut it short and make it a short speech. And uh, the thing that I would like to uh, say is that I came long time back and I was the first one who was awarded in those days a certificate for crossing the Atlantic by any airline. So I was, I was, that was the first award I got when I came to America. And that was in the mid 50s. And uh, the thing that I think I, Heard so much, I don't remember some of it. Perhaps I did all those things. But I went to Tampa and there also I had some activity there. So I like to get involved with the community and particularly when I was alone uh, in a country, nobody was there around me. So I thought that it is a good idea to get to know people here more closely than um, just uh, looking for Indians. So I did get in touch with the culture and the kind of uh, uh, society that America is built up, built up, and that gave me the opportunity to uh, assimilate a lot of the thoughts and ideas that I have until now. So that was just an opportunity. And I think after the 60s, 80s, I got to know some more activities concerning Indians. So it was sometime in the mid-80s, I was uh, stuffing envelopes in Ramgada's house along with uh, Patanavan. He was the then president of the India Association. So that day we were having fun, having tea or perhaps beer or something like that. So we had a good time. And uh, Patu got me interested in the India Association, those days called India Club. I got to be involved in India Association until uh, 1930, uh, 93s and so. Uh, no, I'm sorry, that was uh, before uh, my presidency was just for one year, but I was involved in one way or the other, and some of the uh, things that I heard today was perhaps done during that period. And uh, So my goal was to coordinate and assemble, assimilate with other organizations, food staff, food self program, Asia Pacific Council, and Minnesota state legislatures. We got to interface with them, all of the above. Uh, there is one thing that I would like to give as a message for the future, and that is to get, give something back to the society where we are living now. I'll give you an example of that kind of uh, sacrifice somebody has done in Tampa and then now the, this person uh, is Dr. Kiran Patel and his wife Dr. Pallavi Patel, both from Tampa. They came to America in the 80s and uh, Dr. Patel, a well-known cardiologist, developed a physis physician practice. Uh, practice management company in Tampa, later known as Well Care HMO. By 2002, he built it into a billion dollar company as a, play, as a payback to the community. They have money, they have money and energy uh, that will be, no, as a payback to the community, they leave money and energy that will leave some landmark in Tampa and surrounding area. They have built a Patel Center for Global Solutions at the University of South Florida in Tampa at a cost of $10 million. The center does research and technology uh, in pursuit of its strategic plans. The Patels have contributed substantially to Tampa Performing Arts community. The Tampa Performing Arts Center building as Pallavi Patel Art Institute inscribed on the building. 
So this is the kind of sacrifice some of the Indians are doing. It's not a sacrifice, it's just giving back to some of the good um, life when we come to America. So this is, uh, I'm sure our Indian community will make such contributions from time to time and we will be proud of it. Thank you members of the board for nominating and the nominating committee of the India Association of Minnesota. Thanks to my wife Hindu who is not here and Dr. Niru and my son-in-law uh, Brian Stenquist who have supported my efforts all along. Thank you. Not that.